We should talk about Kevin Clancy apologizing to Nikki Glaser. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I didn't see it. Oh, it's the best. This is the best. All right, so I what did play. he apologize for? For us. Wait, he apologized on behalf of us? <laughs> we didn't authorize you to do that. <laughs> We're not sorry. <laughs> I didn't sign off on a goddamn apology. Well, like, can you also, in the meantime, pull up a few moments of Kevin, Can Kevin Clancy uncontrollably cackling with laughter as we made fun of Nikki Glaser? <laughs> That we could intersplice with In a fact, portion do you apology. Have what he, do you have what he said? The thing he said? Did you get that? I forgot. Oh, because at the end of this thing that he apologizes for, podcast. apparently, he goes, wow, I think we watched Big J just pitch a perfect game. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask him to say that. Dude, we made... He just we, said it. We made fun of Nikki Glaser's horseshit song. Oh, uh, Bob Saget. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. even she admits that it was horseshit. She knows it sucked. She says it sucks. So we make fun of it, rightfully so, as we should have. Yes. As we should have, right? And it's okay. We like Nikki. Nikki's funny and she's sure. cool. She's kind of hot, you know? Everybody watch uh, Nikki Glaser Comes Home, now on E! Channel. <laughs> yeah, she needs our racist plug. <laughs> hey, listen e up. E! Channel's like, you know what? We're good without the Nazi viewership. <laughs> listen up, uh, supremacists and supremacissies. <laughs> Watch E channels. <laughs> Nikki Glaser comes home. I go, listen, one night of the week. Some you guys, point. You're not going to want to miss this show. Let me tell you about it. Hosted by a white lady. You like that? <laughs> mm -hmm. So far, you're good. In. Start. There's other whites. Plenty of whites. Um, Plenty of whites. Yeah. Uh, so you know, so we make fun of her on the show with Kevin Clancy and uh, Fiedelberg, his co-host. Are here and we, you know, he really sits back and just lets us. We, it was a really fun show, and honestly, I don't think we even made fun of Nikki with any malice. It was simply making fun of her horseshit we made fun song. Of her song. Yeah, it was terrible. We judged up her song, and we made and it then better. We made our own song. Right. We made our own songs, and it was a great moment. It was a great moment in LOS history, right? So, thank you, Kevin Clancy, and I mean this. I looked over at him. Like the same look that my, the, in, my, in his eye that my son has when he meets Santa Claus every year. Yeah, he's ready to die. He <laughs> saw the other side. He's like, okay, that's it. A life complete. I mean, he was so happy and just so elated to be in this moment with us. And then he brings Nikki Glazer on his podcast, and this is the conversation that he has with her. And by the way, she doesn't ask him to apologize. He just offers it up. Oh. Oh, uh, by the way, also, Nikki looking toy. Jesus Christ, yeah. She oh, looks yeah. really good there. Nikki look a toy. Nice to taste. Good outfit. I started apologizing, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Why? What did I do? I don't know. You want to kiss? <laughs> no, you don't want to kiss. <laughs> no, I'm going to be in his. He wrote a bunch of songs for me that well, I... Let me like, start doing your own, girl. Um... I've I've recorded stuff, but I'm you not putting that. it out there. Like it's just too embarrassing. You get trashed for it. As a comedian, you can't do anything sincere. Oh, no. It has do, to be I, a funny I, song. I owe you an apology. I was I, I didn't have your back when we were to, when uh, when I was on the Skanks podcast. Oh. Yeah, you know, then I I that that have your back. Before. What is that? On, on it. Oh, you're yes, giving it like, up. You're clapping. I'm sorry. No. Oh my God. Who cares? I, oh, that's just showing I knew it was going to happen. Like because I was recording these songs, just because I was like. I might as well try it. Yeah, yeah. But absolutely. it's um because I I got into playing guitar and, and singing and stuff during the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, and, you have a good voice. But it's embarrassing <laughs> to do something sincere. I mean, that's, that's what I've wanted to do ever uh, my whole life. But instead, yeah. I've done comedy because looks like you really held back from supporting her. People who like try yes. and care, and yes. it's like oh. it's so, it's so like psychological. He's right? like right, right here. You can see me looking for a window to yeah. say, yeah. "Hey guys, you wish you that's quite enough." Singing is so it's so gay. Oh, that's not a good face. Oh, we're going on tour together this summer. Yeah, rewind it, rewind it a little bit, because you got to hear what he actually says. It's pretty funny. It looks like she was just listening to her song with that. <laughs> because I, I got into playing guitar and, and singing and stuff during the pandemic. Yeah, and, you have a good voice. But it's so. embarrassing to do Dang. something Ugh. sincere. Is he running for office? But but no, no, listen. Why is defense, he crushing his nuts both metaphorically I and said, literally? I said this that night. Her voice isn't the issue. Her voice is fine. No, her voice is fine. The music is fine. The drums are fine. It's the tone actually of the kind bass. of it's kind of impressive that she pulled off a song on that level for someone well, no, you know no, no. on comedy. The, each just individual element, like her voice, the bass, the guitar, the drums, everything individual is fine. It's just when Nikki Glaser doing when a they came together Bob and Sackett tried song. to work together. It was absolute horseshit. 
Yeah. Did she? The fusion failed. Do you think she had that song like she wrote it, waiting for him to die? Like she's got like because it was came or, out pretty no, quick. I think, I think he heard it and he killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> goes, I wrote the song he, for he you. He threw himself violently down the stairs when he heard the song. Yeah. And he was like, you know what? I'm ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think in hindsight she's like, I really wish I had saved it for Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been a way better guy to write a song. I for. love you, Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, go ahead, continue. Our first My whole life, was but instead in of done. Milwaukee, we were stealing tiny shampoos from the hotel. <laughs> first for ourselves, and I got an extra bit of food to bring back to my hotel also. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, no way. Notoriously you were... cheap, I paid for everything. I was like, I can't believe you were the parrot in Aladdin. <laughs> if I knew you were going to die, I would have got back some of that money I lent you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I look to the heavens. <laughs> that was a bad. That was a bad day. Oh, well, it was good. Okay. Finish it. Finish it. Sorry, Nikki Glazer. We're addicts. <laughs> yeah. Right. You think we won't do anything serious? Try being a drug a drug addict on camera, <laughs> where your children can see you. There's nothing sincere. Um, this is sincerely him being a drug addict right now, while his daughter can watch. Check it out. <laughs> Playing guitar and, and singing and stuff during the pandemic. Yeah, and, you have a good voice. But it's so. embarrassing to do uh, something I sincere. I mean, that's, I what, that's what I wanted to do ever, oh, <sighs> my whole life, but instead yeah. I've done comedy because comedy there's nothing sincere about it. Comedy is the thing where you make fun of people who, like, try yes. and care. And yes. it's like... Kevin, it's you so faggots. <laughs> You see his body language? He's like, oh, Nikki, oh. He goes, these guys oh. think they're too cool to be sad about something. <laughs> oh, Nikki. Oh. Well, it's oh. all. His, I knees actually... are, his knees are crossing so much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is. It he is had to something... literally tuck his dick in order to yeah. get in that position. He goes, hang on, let me get a little more in sync with what you're saying. <laughs> Dude, and I, nothing like against him, but it is. I like Kevin some, a lot. I, Kevin's Those great. Guys are great. Kevin's great, but there is something about him. I think I'm him. doing KFC he's like, radio soon. He's like assuming the body language and the voice octave of what he's acting out. You know what I yes. mean? Like he's like he's like. Well, I'm gonna kind of like be like kind of phony uh, and apologetic what's and also with these guys yeah, like, <laughs> who hot you can't just have a moment to be sad about a friend who passed i mean god <laughs> what the crap i mean do you mind if i say a, a bad word right now the hell with these guys <laughs> and they're nonsense like you can't guys, even I, try i also by the way i almost, i feel bad hearing this because i genuinely think like you guys i wasn't even here on the episode but i think you guys almost like fucked way to bail dude you know what's funny I wasn't here. I wouldn't have laughed. Probably. No, I would have. I would have defended Nikki. No question about that. <laughs> Why can't she try? She can't just try something different, sincere. But it seems like this actually crushed her. Like, oh, I made all these other songs, but I can't even put them out because people will just make fun of it. And you're like, Nikki, we, we genuinely affected her. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Just Nikki, do it. Put your songs hell. Put them out. Who uh, cares if we make fun of we're you? We're going to make fun of all of them, but put them out, please. We need content. By the way, don't bullshit us with some fucking EP. I need an LP. <laughs> Family Selections Dinner Box is packed with favourites, like delicious Angus burgers, chicken McNuggets and fries to share, plus drinks all round. So grab dinner at McDonald's and give mum the night off. Me and my mum and my dad were in McDonald's. McDonald's. The Wild Wild West. It's time for the podcast. What's going on, bro? Matt. 
What's happening? We're here man? with Stuff Islands, <laughs> half of Stuff Islands, Chris O'Connor. McDonald's. <laughs> Chris O'Connor. I do like McDonald's, although I've been on a Taco Bell kick. Chris, as is, of if, late. You, if you ain't what? at Chick fil A, Chris is at Taco Bell. <laughs> Did you, was that an order from the cantina when I pulled up? Uh, no, that that is, uh, I got just a bacon, egg, and cheese. This morning, really. But last night, strict. You're on a strict bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah. Diet. Yeah. And he eats really? half the bacon, egg, and cheese. And I save and the saves other half it. for later. And then later in the afternoon, he'll munch, munch on a bacon, egg, and cheese. Really? Yeah. And, and it's Donald. usually unless Tommy sneaks in and grabs it. <laughs> what are your Tommy scoops him? <laughs> Tommy scoops it. Damn, stuff. And he Island always has battles. the same excuse. He goes, "I thought you were gonna eat it." <laughs> you better watch out. I know. We talked about you it. Come out and bang you <laughs> up. It's, it's how, right. how are your bowel movements? Dude, you know what? I've been hanging out with a lady recently, and I've been I I, I like I guess I've just been farting without thinking. First, about I love it. all your bowel movements revolve around being around a girl, which is <laughs> very sick. No, yeah. no, it's because you start hanging out with a lady, you got to you got to you know time them out. They're an ass. You know? Oh, you don't, you, dude. First date, I took a dump. I I in, go. In, I tell her that I'm going to the bathroom to fart. Dude, you but, they you have yeah. to just you have to be like I'm taking a shit. I'll be right back. Yeah. First date, I did it the first time I went to her apartment. I was like, hold up. I'm Came out like 11 minutes you later. You said, hold up, little mama. <laughs> hold up, little mama. I got the motherfucking bubble guts. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> I got the bubbly guts. That's the strongest thing you can do on a first date. Take a shit. Just say, pardon me. You take your napkin, put it back on the table and say, I have to excuse myself. <laughs> it's been gone like and a half an hour. <laughs> it's just for, yeah, at least a half hour. Don't even shit. Just look at your phone. And then come that's back right, out that's and right. say, date, date two, I did that. I took a hard crap. So you took a dump, day two? Day two. Also evaded the question. How are your bowel movements? They're good. I I've a, a pretty consistent. Every once in a while, I get one that's a little messy, a little fucked up. But like, yeah, well, could you demonstrate a log with your hand? What kind of logs are you working with? Uh, solid we, logs, broken. Yeah, pieces? solid logs. Yeah, yeah. Get a crumbled pillar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a couple where I have to like stand up. It's so long. Sometimes it looks like ancient crumbled, Roman. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like, like ruins, ruins, dude. <laughs> Absolute ruins. <laughs> Wait, weren't we just making fun of poor countries for being in ruins? I could have swore we were making fun of like Mexicans for living in ruins. <laughs> Go back to your ruins. Wasn't us. All right. Pretty funny though. Well, I must have been being racist somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if America had more ruins. I'd like to go. Well, no, we do. We just, we have just destroyed our ruins. Yeah, we did. We just built on top of it. And they weren't built out of the most durable material. They're built. Yeah. Our ruins were built out more out of like sticks and shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have that one. Isn't there like the Pueblo people? The they built into the careful Chris to the rock. <laughs> careful yeah. Chris. I know. Hold your horses. <laughs> Pull up. That's ruin. <laughs> we have Plymouth Rock. That's you know. Yeah. Yeah. Just Never seen that it. was the rock that was there. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have like Stonehenge, like like dolmens and stuff. We got some mounds down south. True. Yeah. Some Indians were piling dirt. True, we do nice some, work, dumbasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, morons. <laughs> yeah, we, snake mound. Don't we yeah. have those? Um, yeah, we have those like, yeah, like hill type things. What are the, yes. what, what is it called when they do a flat? Uh, actually, it's called a henge. Like Stonehenge is. It's not just the rocks. They flatten. They completely flatten the area. Oh, nice. They above. tamp it. So it's like a circle. Yeah, and they tamp it up. So it's like a totally uh, artificially flat circle they made. Mm. People don't give the, the landscape the credit. Everyone's worried about this, the thing sticking. How they there. got it, all that shit up there. Yeah, people don't remember about the henge part of Stonehenge, dude. Yes, right. It's a lot of dirt. And that's it's a lot about of, the yeah. negative space. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look into that, dude. Why don't you a start nice looking henge. into that, Chris? Dude, a nice henge. I will. I want to get a nice henge in my backyard. Just a nice flat, artificially flat surface. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't you have like a slab? Don't you have a concrete slab back there? Yeah, I I did a couple things in my backyard. <laughs> I, I unearthed, <laughs> tore it up. <laughs> I unearthed the concrete slab that was. That you were looking there. for like bugs and rocks, right? No, no. I was. I had a, I had a level in my backyard. Oh. We we're having some water. We had some water coming in, so I had to like eye it up and see how I could divert the water. My family's really into that. My dad yeah. loves diverting water via landscaping. Really? Oh, dude. We, yeah, our basement does, used to be gushing, dude. That is cool as hell. Dude. The closest I've come is sandcastles, but that's always a very enjoyable moment when you dig out a little tunnel for the water. It's all the same thing, yes. dude. It's all the same thing. But yeah, he was. we were getting big time water in our basement, and he uh, he laid some landscape. He's really into like surveying where water's coming and how to like block it away from a house. Yeah, that's nice. A lot goes into it. Controlling, I was, managing water. I like managing water in the shower. 
Let it run down my arm and I point it at things. <laughs> yeah, 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 you do. Like a like a loogie, I spit on the fucking tub yeah. and I'm like, you gotta get rid of that. <laughs> I keep it lower than this. <laughs> That's all it about. is. It's a force push. Yeah. Yeah. Sick move. <laughs> and I divert it. That's legendary. Mm hmm So fucking fun. That's my new move to anybody out there that wants to try to heckle me. Dude. You're getting hit with that. That's something you hear and you instantly want to steal. Do like, it. I could do that. You can yeah. do it. No, I'd it's, be happy. That's, you, that's urine, bro. No, I'd like you to do it. Do you want to send it? I'd like Iukin? you to do. I think you. I don't know if I want you to do Hadouken, but I want you to do oh, a, a fucking. No, I want you to do a. Uh, who's the Who's the Marvel guy that you liked? You're talking about uh, the guy from Street Fighter. No, no, I'm talking in Doctor. Oh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, I want you to. <laughs> if someone starts tackling you, just hit him with like a. <laughs> Dude, sending a, a fireball to someone who's tackling you is the best. Yeah, like, get to the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if you spotted a guy kind of leaning on his chair and hit him. Oh, with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would it'd be over. Dude, I might I, set up a plant and you start putting YouTube videos out about Hadouken. <laughs> And have, yeah, fall, like, have like a fake bad fall. Be like, dude, that's crazy. Oh my God, guys, that's crazy. You yeah. should get, how much do you think it would cost to have security, like your own security at a comedy club who would like fucking like scared, scared like jack people Screaming up. Screaming people's faces. Yeah, like fuck them up. Holy fuck, that'd be awesome. It'd be a couple, it'd be a few hunch. I could give a guy 50 bucks at most clubs. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Dude, motherfuck this, dude. Yeah, Like true. if somebody talks, get in their face and be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll fuck your wife. I'll fuck your wife. <laughs> That'd be an easy fix. Yeah. Hit him with a couple of fucking, maybe a huger and like 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, give him an Adderall. <laughs> give him a fucking huger. Give him an Adderall and be like, dude, go wild I'll on everybody. Give you $100 and fucking 30 milligrams of Adderall <laughs> to keep this thing totally contained. <laughs> Just seeing girl, making girls cry. Yeah. Shut up, you fucking bitch. You bitch. It has to be big enough to beat up anyone's boyfriend in the room. What are you going to do, pussy? Shut up. Get like three of them. Three giant dudes. Fuck, surround dude. a table. Just three major pains, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And rain hell on anybody. <laughs> Somebody orders too loud. Be like, boys. Get the fuck destroy out. this fucking guy. <laughs> you could do this. Yeah. Not in any funny way, though. No, yeah. no, no, no. Like, I don't. I want to destroy hecklers without, like, wit. <laughs> Or anything funny. No just good comebacks. Force. Just, just pure violence. Yeah. They don't kick him out. They just stand around the table yeah. and eat his food. And hoot yeah. at him oh, and eat yeah. his food. Jeer at his girlfriend. And big and Revolutionary War soldiers, dude. Yes, and never stop. You have to give them quarters, They, they will take quarters. <laughs> they will sit down at your table and start eating. That would be, Dude, I'm telling you, you could do this and run a very tight ship. Yeah. And people be, they'd be like, yo, whoa, chill with that. Like, if they get caught with a phone, you fucking step on it. Yeah. I wonder how much it would cost to maybe rig up some type of pulley system. So if you did hit someone with a Hadouken, they flew to the back of the room, you know, I mean? or elevate levitated and you force hold them. <laughs> you That's what I thought. Shut the fuck Dude, up. Dude, that'd be so sick. <laughs> you, should, you should go to helium or wherever else and, and come down like from like nine feet from the ceiling on a cable. <laughs> Cause you could rig yourself up. Like if they start getting you mad, you start levitating. <laughs> if you, if you were all black and they put you up in the ceiling and after the feature, like the hose comes back out, and you slowly descend from seven feet. <laughs> You've been there the whole time. You've been up. <laughs> you could do this, dude. <laughs> How dedicated well, are you? Be, I'd be so happy. What <laughs> would be so funny is if they noticed me during the <laughs> <laughs> during the feature set, just on the roof, like a bat, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to trick out the lighting so you can't be <laughs> descend slowly. Yeah. A true, a true vampiric entrance. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, there's so much sick shit you could do. Yeah, if you got pulled out and I was supposed to be levitating, but <laughs> I was too heavy, so my feet just dragged. <laughs> You should be attached to pulley at all times yeah. and have like your one leg lift. <laughs> you, you should add like an aerial aspect to your show. Yeah, a little Cirque du Soleil just type. Fucking... <laughs> just occasionally like ride up a curtain. You could do this. this would have been... Dude, I'm, you could do this. You know what would be tight is to run along the back wall at oh Helium real God. quick. <laughs> real crouching tiger out of nowhere. Just oh my pop God. pop all your tippy toes. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so sick if you just jumped and just fucking levitated and came down. And never acknowledged it. 
<laughs> just back to the show. I mean, how much were you talking to get a little crouching tiger action? Probably not that much. It's like, and then I was like, shut up, dad. And you just fucking ran along yeah. the walls. <laughs> Would you guys rather 69 your dad or get shot in the head? <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Fuck. Now man. that's a show. That's a show. I, you gotta. I want to get into showmanship, dude. You are a bit of a showman. You played the uh, played little, the flute. I'm I'm t- I'm tipping my toes in the water. Yes. I pied piper myself out yeah. on stage. I That's actually was just talking to Matt or Chris about this. I, I'm getting too much into showmanship. What are you talking about? How, how's it half impossible? my set? There's not even material. I'm just up there like, ah, have you guys heard of this? Have you thought of this? Have you even thought of it? Yeah, but <laughs> it's so keep, fun. It's fun, but it's so funny. To be, it's to gonna go, make for a bad hour. Nah, just you live should, this, it'll be fun. This next hour, you should go pure physical comedy, big energy, act out, demand a lot from the crowd. Yeah. I just want to demand more. I need the crowd to give me more, dude. Yeah. Dude, if you combine pulley <laughs> and flute, <laughs> you start playing and elevated. <laughs> I mean, you could save now yourself. Now we're talking a show. You could genuinely save yourself the trouble of developing material with just a little bit of fucking. Yeah, you can smash watermelons. True. Yeah, you can go. Th- I mean, I don't know his material. I'm sure it was. I might shove great. a watermelon up my ass. <laughs> Give birth. Uh, um. Um. But yeah, dude. All good things. Let me tell you this. This is something going on. Tell me this. A, a guy I know passed away oh. two days ago, and my mm. friend texted me, and he said this guy died. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, it wasn't, I, I hadn't seen him in 15 years. Yeah. But he responded, he, I was like, how'd he die? And he was like, I don't know, but it was sudden. And I was like, that sucks. And he goes, I pray it was suicide. Now, that was a typo. He meant to say, pray it wasn't. <laughs> Fuck. But then I was like, I was thinking about it. And it's like, I hope it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? What I hope the- shit wasn't going well. What other and he kind of died accidentally. Thing, yeah, true. I hope he fucking had a bad time. It was like I'm done. You're you're saying like rather than being hit by a bus or something. Yeah, I hope he didn't have like a good family. Shit was going well, and he just, just yeah, and died. Yeah, I hope he. I hope You'll he be lived. Family gave it his shot. Bad. And was just like you know what I'm out. What you know? what's what's the criteria for this wish? What do you mean? You're yeah. saying like you you would be better than if he like things started to turn around and he died. No, I'm saying if if if, if you find out someone died suddenly, right? Your instinct shouldn't be to be like, oh, I hope he didn't kill himself. I hope it was a freak accident. It's like no, True, dude. Yeah. I hope shit wasn't going great. I hope he didn't enjoy life yeah. and he lost it. I hope sense. he was like, fuck it. Saying, yeah. I'm out of here. This sucks. Yeah, but he wasn't yeah. ripped from a beautiful life. Yeah, right? it was just I like, hope, nope. He got hope, all his affairs in order. It'd be a time to write a yeah. letter and be like, dude. Done. You know what? This fucking sucked. I'm done. Yeah. There's, there'll be a lot of them. I think we've been having a lot of people do that lately. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people kill themselves. They're they're done. Yeah. They've tapped seen out. enough. They yeah. tapped. Dude. Now yeah. I'm not pro suicide. Not at all. But it's a mortal sin. It is a it is. Go to fucking hell. You have to be beheaded. Really? You behead the body once they commit suicide. Is that what it is? Yes. What's that do? Is that yeah. save them from? Yeah, make like, sure no, it's to punish them even further <laughs> so they're headless in hell you have to chop their head off so they're in hell without a head what Damn. culture is that catholic yeah <laughs> really that's something we're doing no it's just in still the, do it it's just in the kingdom of heaven oh so i stand by it ridley scott if someone kills himself you cut like after dead like behead you them. have to cut their head for off the sin, for basically. the sin they yes fuck yeah damn dude yes. things how do you feel about so much desecrating cooler. bodies in general how do what do i feel about it yeah what are you talking? Give me an act. What would ha- what would someone have to do for you to desecrate their, you know, court like cut them up, send them to different parts of the world? Are you yeah, about like, like Wallace? Yeah. Probably hurt someone I loved. Pull all their teeth out. Probably hurt someone I loved. <laughs> hey, we talking after you kill them, you desecrate the body? Yeah, they're dead already, but you're like... Yeah, if someone just killed someone in front of me and I killed them back, I'd probably yeah. keep killing them once they're... I would probably just like start destroying them. Yeah. Just yeah. like stomp them, even like they're dead. Like get off them! And I, I, yeah, I might just stomp them. Yeah, Not stop. We're just fucking rip off their genitals. I don't know. I like what yeah. we did with Bin Laden, allegedly. Yeah, yeah. pushed him off. Just the dump fucking... him into the sea. Be like, yeah, that trash is gone. Yeah, yeah it's true. But you're never gonna you're alleged. Never gonna find it. Alleged. True. Yeah. They took like what one Polaroid of him. Yeah. Oh wait, I they don't cut mean a piece. To, off I don't mean him. to be smirch the teens, dude. They cut a piece off him. I, mean, I don't the mean teams the, probably the got teams, him. Yeah, they might still have him. Isn't no, there they, something weird with the team? Like they're the guys that were on that raid are kind of getting whacked. Really? Something like know. that. I, I don't know if that. that's the one. I didn't hear that. I think that's... they're Navy SEALs, so they're probably dying. 
you know, take it easy in combat. Take it easy. It's like, oh, these people keep dying. It's like, yeah, well, they're constantly going into a Bin Laden type compound. Love, you know, the teams. The teams are going to hear this. Yeah, I. The last thing you want is the teams coming down on you. Yeah, you're gonna what? have a red dot coming you're through. You're gonna have your red window. dot during stuff island. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make the teams not I might like the teams would teams never keep come a red dot on both of people's foreheads. No. Dude, if you and Tommy had red dots, mm-hmm. that, dude, having a sniper at your comedy show would be sick, dude. Yes. You're fucking around, there's a red dot in your chest. It's like, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm an ardent bullet, supporter the of the teams. Oh, for sure. I've always that. been. You're saying they're the lot I of I love covert dying. ops. No, I'm I'm getting that wrong. There's definitely a movie out or like a, a documentary, like a spud documentary that I was shown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was about some type of a team getting whacked. I'm talking about like a Clinton body count situation. Yes, like they've been getting. They've fucking, seen too much. There's a convenient helicopter crash. Something like that. Yeah, maybe it's boss. Anyway. I'm pro assassination. I think we should be All assassinating more people. Just you know, in general, world leaders, get in there, take them out. Some who would you like? Just... Who would you like to see? If you had your druthers, <laughs> who would you like to see? <laughs> I, don't know, out? I don't know. He, he would like an... Putin dead. Yeah, let's get Putin. You want to take out Putin? Do you crazy? Chris, as a moral victory. Chris is part of the Democratic. Uh, <clears throat> Here's a couple of things. The Russian boogeyman. No, have you accepted no, no. that? It's have not you, about have that. You come to terms it's not about that. that. Have it's you come to terms with the Russian hoax? You guys got another big pill to swallow in no, about five God. years. Yeah, he'll not, never come to terms with the Russian hoax. We're what getting happened? our news. From, we're getting news. Our news remember? from different places. I remember we argued about this. What was that one report that got totally just crushed recently? The dossier. One of them just got completely blown out of the water. The dossier. The dossier was false. Fabricated. Yeah, but not much was built on the dossier. Really? We're not going to get into it. But the here's, Russian here's, hoax. Uh, guys, let's get back. The Russian hoax is real, you're let's saying. Get, get, let's real. get back to killing Putin. Okay. I, there's a couple things that I think we need to do <laughs> to turn oh, man, this. Man, the teams this, are going to hate. <laughs> no, 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 the no. The teams are going to fucking No, I'm coming him, up with dude. good missions for the teams. Kill Putin? Yeah. They don't want to kill Putin for no <laughs> dang gum reason. <laughs> what are you talking? You know how sick it would be to kill Putin? What the fuck, dude? If we put a good squad together and got Putin. That's Why? a big. That's come on. Do you think our interest conflict economically? You think we have like economic no, no, conflict? I'm, this is what I'm just interest? saying. This is what I'm saying. Why do you want to take country is very divided? Yeah. We need to liberate Australia. Kind of like an dude. Iraq situation. <laughs> we need a new crocodile. Dun- we, need, we need a new crocodile. Dun- <laughs> They're getting sent to fucking camps. I know, dude. They're the, getting sent to camps. The indigenous. Yeah, too. you're They're, fucking. You're the indigenous people. are yeah, regular dude. people. Both. All of them. <laughs> Both, but we're worried. If you about don't the get the vax, you're basically indigenous. That's how it works. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. Damn. That makes sense. You got to modernize that means your blood. I'm fucking pale face again. No, 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 no. I was close to being indigenous. You can, I'm more of a pale face that got adopted by the tribe. True. Because I got vax, but I didn't want to. For sure, you got. You yeah. yeah, nobody wanted to. You loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're round. They're rounding about? up like, dude. They're taking like First Nation dudes, really? or whatever, and just fucking locking them up. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, yeah. so <laughs> nation's very divided it's your boys. right now. I think if we if we kill, let's start a war <laughs> with with Russia. Just anybody. Chris is such a liberal. You start a you war, are a dude. War hawk. Start start a colony on Mars. Do some stuff. We need an achievement. It's all bad news all the time. Yeah, we could just reopen yeah. the economy. That'd be nice. <laughs> That'd be yeah, nice yeah. No, I'm so we need something. We need something big, and someone's got to pay the price. We don't need the dog and pony show, bro. No, yeah. you do. We don't need the dog and you pony. You do show. need the dog and pony show, nah, bro. Nah, we just need the return, dude. I love dogs. I love. You ponies. think the return? It's gonna be the return will bring us back. He's coming back, dude. He's coming. Forty-seven. Oh, he you're, talking, you're talking forty-seven. You're talking forty-seven. <laughs> you're talking forty-seven. <laughs> Four, He's four, coming seven. back. There's no fighting. There's no fighting him. No, this is like Yang, when, this Yang is for real. Point. Like when Jordan returned from baseball. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Trump's playing baseball in Mar-a-Lago. He's gonna come back, dude. Dude, he might just be a permanent fixture. Probably, he might have to come back or his son because he will. No one's. I I don't see anyone beating him. No demo is gonna beat him, dude. Is demos, he on Instagram, Chris? What do you think the demos what? have done with this country? <laughs> the Dems? Yeah. <sighs> what do they? Do? How do you think they've done? Handling this, uh, you know, I think they they did okay. My girlfriend made pancakes. I think they did okay the other day. Yeah, and I cleaned it up, uh-huh. so I have fucking pancake batter all over this. It looks like there's just jizz. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a jizz hoodie. All right, what are the Dems? That do? is the more pressing issue. <laughs> right now, we need to think about pancakes. Do have, last, it doesn't have a lot of fucking jizz, jizz all over me. When's the last time you had pancakes? Homemade from scratch. I make them. So they nice. made Too them. Long. They're phenomenal. Too long. You did this quick? No, she made like she got the shit to make them. Yeah, eggs, butter. Yeah. Oh, how do you make? Flour? I have no idea. I wasn't in there. Sugar. I have no idea what she did to make them. What is in biscuit? 
Probably, I, I don't know. They kind of all the shit that they can sugar. It's all like yeah. you would make it, but they just make it from powder. scratch. Kind of yeah. tastes slightly better than biscuit. But. Really? No, yeah. Fluffier. You got yeah. some egg. You actually have you eggs. You can right? add some eggs and some milk to Bisquick, and it, it fluffs up. Yeah, you could, yeah, right? Anyway, let's get back to what the fucking Dems have done. True. <laughs> Chris. I want to talk about wars we can potentially start to turn this country around. That's what I'm saying. I'll tell just you a war. nice assassination. A civil war. A secret True. assassination. Yo, did you see the feds good. marching on D.C. again? The feds were marching? Yeah. Why? They all pretended to be white nationalists. And it was oh, just, they did. They did a little. They just hired 500 FBI agents. <laughs> they started marching? Yeah. What'd they do? They just held up shields. They looked like fucking... Dorks, Jesus Christ! I wanted to punch them. So they came up. What are they? What were they doing? Like you can't move us or like something like that. I don't know. They love shields. True. They love they pretending get, they're like Spartans. They might get sucked by a fucking lesbian. Three hundred fucked us. True. That movie three hundred fucked us. Why? It got all the white nationalists thinking they were fucking Leonidas. <laughs> <laughs> they you know they all love shields going around. It like, is a Persian I, tale. Yeah. <clears throat> it is technically an Aryan tale. Mm. So yeah, I can see why they got fired up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we I'm go now. Now around. we're back cooking. Yeah. We're flying. Technically, I like a sneak. I like sneaking around. You would. I what don't do like mean? the shield thing. Yeah, you like kind of like Silence. manipulating narratives and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, man. Propaganda. I wish we could just come together. I'm just trying to come together with you on this. I so wish our proper. I wish our, I, I just <laughs> wish your people would stop fucking locking my people up, dude. What the indigenous? Yeah. They're getting locked in Australia. Germany's fucking back in the lockup game. Germany's wild. Are they? Locked down. They're locking down the unvaccinated. Because the Omicron's coming, dude. Omicron, dude. Don't fuck around about it. I heard it was bullshit. I heard we it was don't know weak. much about it. Connor, don't get this thing canceled, dude. I heard it was. Oh, now you missed her. I heard this was bullshit. I heard it was weak. Yeah, of course it's weak. It is. But yeah. Yeah. Well, they're, it's they're weaker. <laughs> we don't know. If you read the Atlantic, it's like we don't know the details, but apparently it's really not that big of a deal at all. But it isn't a big. Here's deal. some shows you can watch. <laughs> I, I fucking hate What shows do they recommend? Bullshit, I don't know It's always bullshit Yeah But yeah, that's what they do They're like, here's what we know about this Here's what you should think They literally phrase it like Here's what to think about this Yeah They're like, it's not a big deal But also it could be Yeah Check this show out on Netflix like, <laughs> Here's the top 25 comedians you should watch Yeah Yeah yeah. But yeah, dude the Omicron is gonna come get you, dude I'm not that worried about it yeah. Did you get your booster yet? No, you gotta get boosted, to. dude. I just saw a commercial. They're running New York commercials. If you haven't got, if you had the vax over two months ago, booster time. And it doesn't even have to be the same. If you got the you Pfizer, you can toss in a Moderna booster. See what the fuck happens. <laughs> <laughs> just toss it in. I think yeah. I think J- the crazy. NBA said J and J is gives you two months. You got to get boosted, and then the other one's like six. Really? Yeah. So they give you a six month span. I was watching. What happens? It goes how about, away. How about watching TMZ? I watched TMZ. Mm-hmm. You ever watch that? Sometimes, yeah. Dude, that might be the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It's bad. TMZ's a blight, dude. It's, it, we need that. <laughs> you want to talk about a mission for the teams? Clear out TMZ. Fuck. Yeah. Dude. All right, this is bordering on uh, what? calling on terrorists. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. No. Sure. We're talking about government sanction. I want a government, sanction. I want a government sanction team. execution of TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about them just getting up in their face and scaring them straight. Getting the teams in there? The teams scare straight before they use lethal force. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, just toss a flashbang in TMZ. Dude, apparently, (laughs) speaking of the teams, the teams might be, uh, the teams might actually. See that force pull? Yeah. That was a force pull. I'm out of frame. He's one you close. He's one you in arm's reach, dude. Yeah. (laughs) No, the teams, um. The teams might be out. Apparently, Islamic (laughs) terrorism might be fading, dude. Dude, what? they're estimating 6 million Muslims are converting to Christianity every year. It's an estimate. Really? 6 million Muslims are converting to Christianity. And a lot of people are <laughs> a lot of people who are like taking these guys in are saying that they had j- dreams of Jesus. And they're just converting in like pretty massive numbers. Dude, do you think he's returning? He might be, I dude. told you I, t- I listened to that radio show with the Antichrist dude, is among us. Yeah, dude. If you watched I wa- it was like a Dinesh D'Souza? I forget who the guy's name was. It was his podcast, and he was just like... <laughs> Why are you watching Dinesh D'Souza? It's my feed, bro. It's my feed. <laughs> it's my fucking feed. Wasn't that the guy that was, like, locked up? <laughs> <laughs> he go to jail? Yeah. I, Trump pardoned him. I think Trump, Trump pardoned him. him. Is yeah. it Dine- it might, I, might be getting a, I might be getting names mixed up. Yeah. No, he did some wild shit. But He's that a po- was the is he Dems. A podcast? The Dem- he was a political opponent of the Dems, and they literally put him in jail. Is he, a po- is he like an author, He's too? He's making, like, dumb movies, and the what? Democrats put him in jail. Yeah, he's, like, yeah. an author, right? Yeah. He's just a wild fool. I'll have to check my feed. I'll have to fact check myself so on my feed. I think it was finance. him. 
thing. Maybe it's someone else. But yeah, dude, he was saying that like they're estimating again. It could be false. But he's saying six million a year. I mean, see now, if you found out that the U.S. government was implanting Christ dreams into jihadis' heads, <laughs> wouldn't you be? Wouldn't that make you excited? Yeah. I'd try to get my hands on that technology. <laughs> <laughs> what type of dreams would you would, give people? I would, I would try to get in my... I would just want to have price dreams myself. I'd give everybody <laughs> wet dreams of Phil. <laughs> oh. That'd be hot, actually. Just a global... Yeah. yeah, if you could force everyone to have a wet dream of their father, that, would, that might settle everybody down a little. <laughs> it might <laughs> humble a, everybody, quiet everybody <laughs> down. Has yeah. anyone had... What's the weirdest sex dream you've ever had that you've never told anyone about? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Two come to mind, and I will literally never divulge this information. I will never, never. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Was one of them gay? Yeah, yeah. I had a fucking gay <laughs> dream, dude. Yeah, it sucked. I woke up like, what the fuck? Yeah, I had one of those. In college. I've had a fully really. We've all had experience. these. I got my dick sucked by a friend of mine in a dream. Oh no, it wasn't. And that. it was fucking uh, crazy. Oh. I I had a dream where I I hooked up with a girl that I thought was hot in high school, but she was pregnant and trans. So she was hotter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was the hottest girl. Possible. It was. It was like that's, in a cave. That's the or pinnacle of feminine. Really dude. wild. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've had ones where like I had a, I had someone <laughs> anamorph on me one time. It was similar. Where yeah, I was they like, anamorph a girl. Then I was just like sucking a guy's dick, and I was like, <laughs> Whoa. woke up like, Ugh. yeah, that can terrible, happen. Terrible stuff. They morph on you. You have, dude. You'll always, I'll always have like a vague sexual dream where it's like I'm just with a woman. I know she's hot, mm. and then it just kind of morphs to like three different people. Yeah. Some of them are your dad. <laughs> Sometimes it's your buddy from high school giving you a head. <laughs> and you're confused about this. Yeah, your defenses completely go offline, dude. It is an interesting power dynamic that he was sucking your dick. And he was giving me head. Sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, in my I, car. I, I'd hate to I hate to believe it, but really? I'm pretty sure I flew it. It was in my car. No, we were parked yeah. in the Trinity High School parking lot. <laughs> 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 I remember this. I was it I, good? O'Connor, O'Connor, Chris, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? dude? Was it good? You asked head the hard head, questions. Bro. No, head no, is no, head, no, bro. No, 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 no. Head is head, bro. Dreams are like prison, dude. It's not gay. It's not at all. You do what you have to do in dreams. You're trapped in there, dude. The ego yeah. goes completely offline. It's not your fault. Yeah, your shields are down. Yeah, but was it good? Yes. It was really good. Like I didn't. Did, I didn't. Thank you. Were like, Christ, this is crazy. I didn't have a nocturnal emission. Exactly. <laughs> You're totally fine. It was just you're just dealing with like ancient apparatuses to work out complex things. Yes, like getting head off your friend is just symbolic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a collective unconscious. Dude, what the fuck? I admit something to you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, yeah, you come over here and brag like I blew some hot train. Yeah, his one's one like, like, yeah, <laughs> this hot ass girl. I fucked her in a cage. Just makes me, just makes me laugh that you woke up and look. Like, oh, yeah, God. I think. Thank I, God there was no jizz. I'm pretty sure I like blew my guidance counselor from high school. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's what happens. Woke up, it's like, bro. We're creative. That's why. For sure. We're thinking of all the options. Right. For sure. <laughs> I can see it. That was the gay, the guy, that was the gayest dream I've ever had, and I woke up from it being like. I woke. It, yeah, it's, it's like when you. It's, uh, so it's like when you get in a like a, your girlfriend cheats on you in your dream. You wake up like. <laughs> I had a gay dream and I woke up like mad at the guy. I wanted to beat him up. I didn't fight him, dude. <laughs> just unfriended him on Facebook yeah. quietly. You're like, <laughs> I should beat the fuck out of that guy. <laughs> he thinks I'm some type of queer or shit? <laughs> I'm not a queer. Gardini, what's the gayest thing you've ever done in a dream? Be honest. I can't think of one right now. Yeah, Please. sure. That means that Although means I was about your crazy. age when I had my gay first yeah, gay yeah, experience. I'm about to have one soon. <laughs> that, oh, it's coming for you, dude. I hope you're so. not that a mustache. Man, you're not a man until you do something True. gay in the astral realm. True. Well, I'll let you know if I do. Please do. I will. I think Chris is holding back on us. Oh yeah. What? what? You've never had a gay experience in the astral realm? No. I mean, I, is it trans? I mean, you know, it's kind of gay. Wait, you know? trans like she had a penis? Yeah. Okay, that is. And pregnant. And pregnant. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's, like that's a mythical, mythical creature. Yeah. That's a mythical creature. <laughs> really? That's a centaur. That's a phallic mother, dude. Yeah. That's <laughs> you just that's actually you probably were achieving psychological wholeness at that point. Maybe rebirth through wholeness. I yeah, I didn't feel any How'd you feel while you're doing it? 
I was like, this is crazy, but we're here. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it went down in my <laughs> yeah, yeah. car in the parking lot. <laughs> we're here. It's like, what are you doing, dude? This is crazy. Oh. <laughs> Uh, and I, you know, <laughs> what was your friend wearing? Don't worry about it, dude. <laughs> I actually don't remember that. Yo, can you tip, put your I, baseball cap backwards. I, <laughs> <laughs> brims nice. in my thigh. Getting head from somebody that throws it backwards. <laughs> Yo, go Durst, dude. I need you. I can't. Yeah. Have you <laughs> I need you to Durst out. <laughs> I'm glad you're getting fucking a kick out of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a funny question. What's the case that you've ever done in a dream? <laughs> <laughs> it's coming for all of us, dude. Yeah, the homosexual dream encounter is coming for all of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, dude, if you're, yeah. That's what the Mayans talked about. <laughs> this is 2012. <laughs> <laughs> That's about when it happened. When it years. <laughs> right, uh, Probably mine, when the Mayans predicted it. Mine was slightly. <laughs> mine was deeper into 20. 20 like 16. It might have been right when Barack Obama got elected. I was like, oh. No, that's oh, 08. Oh, oh. You're thinking Trump. Trump fired you up. <laughs> Trump, I'm going to when Trump came in. Oh, office. is that why you moved out from living with us? No, I, dude. You had I, a gay dream and you're like, it. I got to get a wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I shrugged it off quickly. I, I did shrug it off, but I remember this is the first time I've ever told anybody about yeah. it. I think you told me. I think I heard about oh, it. Oh, really? I told you this? You did, no, All right, good. You can find it in me. Good. I'm glad I head. let that secret out to somebody. <laughs> that head. thing was burning a hole <laughs> in my soul for years. Dude. Sigmund Freud and his boys all accepted the fact that they had unconscious homosexual urges and they would write each other letters being like I don't know I think my un unconscious homosexual urges have been like affecting our relationship and they'd be like oh it's totally cool dude I think I'm kind of gay for you unconsciously everything See, I hear about it seems like they're having a different experience yeah. I don't like any everything yeah. I hear about Sigmund Freud it, it bothers me yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of people every single time someone's yeah. like yeah he also said you want to just eat your mom's pussy it's like alright dude why don't you fucking chill? Apparently, though, he bit back a lot of his stuff because he had come to the conclusion that women were hysterical because they were getting molested. And it also <laughs> happened, I think his sister... Yeah, it's true. It also ha it happened that his sister was hysterical and his no, dad was a wasn't. powerful man. And then he had to start... Then he started being like, oh, and he, that's when a lot of the weird mythological stuff kind of popped up. Mm. So apparently, he put his finger on a button. It's like, women were just bugging out. Yeah. Everyone was being fucking... Bad dads, dude. <laughs> naughty stepdads. Everyone's being naughty real dads. Yeah. A lot of people. And then all these women are freaking out. Everyone's like, why, why are we having this weird public health crisis? Where women are just like spazzing and being like, I can't get up. And he talked to like thousands of them. They're like, yeah, I think that's just more of the just women. You think, it's bull you think it's bullshit? I don't know. That still happens. I mean, yeah. There's they, a lady will lay down and be like, I can't do anything. <laughs> they do wild out. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's affecting dogs. They're adopting a lot of dogs in mm. cities, and I've run into the most amount of nervous dogs ever in my life. Yeah, do women should not own dogs by themselves. <laughs> I'm fully with you on that. Yeah, they don't walk them. No, some do. Some do. Yeah, a lot of women just. But they they, they transfer their fear. Yeah, they talk to them like to they're. The dogs. Yeah, yeah. The whole dog mom phenomenon needs to stop immediately. Yeah. yeah. Like, dogs dog are for mom. guys. <laughs> Man's best friend, dude. Yes. We'll women be get dog. cats. It's, I mean, come on. But yeah, dude. Yeah, women can, I've, I've seen, women can lock their dogs up for hours, dude. Well, I just feel like. Yeah, they the, go out, yeah. get drinks with their girls. I do, like, I'm, oh, I forgot my dogs. I tied them to the radiator. Yeah, yeah dude. They'll, they'll crate their dogs for like a day. I See, I feel like just dogs aren't city people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Dogs should not be in the city. Yeah. Humans should That's barely just, be in the city. Yeah, true. But yeah, I know, but see, humans keep adopting dogs in the city. Yeah, it bothers me. Especially yeah. when they get big dogs. Yeah. That bothers yeah, Especially me. New York. It's a bad... This is not yeah. a dog town. This is the dude. least dog city. Right. And it's just like, well, these dogs are not... They're not getting what they well, need. But the other thing, too, is they're going to get killed. I know. So it's a, so it's a tough... Is. Dogs. How? Yeah. It's a fucking shelter. That's where they yeah. get them from. Oh, so oh Might as okay. well give them a little lady in the tramp life. I, I, yeah, I, true. Yeah. They're alive, which is good. But the city stuff is... Dogs aren't handling You should well. start a, uh, like a non-profit that humanely just like... Takes dogs from a shelter and then gives them like peak experiences and then puts them down right afterwards. I think people just need <laughs> give them like a just a you know stay with the lady and the tramp thing like a big like a full like spaghetti and meatball dinner and then just fucking <laughs> hit them with some, fent <laughs> some fentanyl. Fentanyl is the that's our actual that's a good way to go. Fent hitting a dog with fentanyl. Yeah, that's not. I think that what do they give them to kill them? <laughs> Gardini, Gardini, dude, he loves being a part of the show. Dude, if you didn't hear Gardini, Gardini said chocolate. Did you say it in the mic? 
No, I owed just, a fucking sake. Yeah, dude. we should punch you in the fucking gut. Yeah, so you guys didn't, you guys missed it. I was like chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, but dude, speaking of people dying, do you see the documentary? No, the one you told Life me to watch. Life of Crime, no. 1984 to 2020. It might be the craziest shit. What's it on? It's Man. on HBO. <laughs> Is that some door open? Some noise pollution. What? The, uh, <laughs> dude. I think that's my woman. Uh, really? Working, slaving away in the kitchen. Speaking, dude, so in the in the video, they start filming these I fucking... I need a fucking snack after the podcast. Oh, it, She it's, makes it during the show. Good. I demand it. Otherwise, you freak, dude. If I, as soon as we hit pause on this, I'm on. There better be something <laughs> to march on. Dude. Sorry. The, so, it just reminded me of, so watch, so, I'm in, I'm in Raleigh. I'm with Sid the Kid. Nice. We come back. We Raleigh. Go back. Yeah. It's pronounced Raleigh. Everyone gave me shit for it. It's Raleigh, apparently. No, it's Raleigh. Okay. Okay. I like Raleigh. It's Raleigh. I, I like Raleigh. Dude, I, the place rules, by the yeah. way. Yeah. I really like North I'm a big North Carolina hit. North Carolina's the best. Just flying over it, I was like, man, this rules. Yeah. I liked it. I liked what I saw, and I went in there. You like the trees? You like yeah. the forest all around it? It's I like, nice. I like it a lot. The farmer blood had to be. Oh, yeah. Big time. I was eyeing up those yeah. squares from the sky. <laughs> like, oh, what I do with yeah. that plot, yeah. dude. <laughs> a lot of good lumber down there, too. Yeah. A lot of good lumber. Dude. I do. I watch lumber cutting videos. Sorry. Okay. No, you're fine. Yeah. Some lumber cutting? Yeah, you see a machine. They're like a cutting like down a big piece of lumber into blocks. It's like awesome. Really? The machine's nice. like rotating it and cutting it itself. Big blades. You know, there's certain huge blades. There's certain types of light you're not allowed to use in a sawmill because it creates the illusion that the the blade's standing still. Really? Mm -hmm. Arc lighting, I believe. Wow. Can't use arc lighting yeah. in a sawmill, brothers. It you looks have to use like the specific still. light. Anything other than arc lights. It's like putting a smell in propane. Pretty much. Yeah. It looked like you had a steel blade there. Chop your fucking hand right <laughs> off, dude. Yeah. You, dude, how long do you think you last in a sawmill? I would stand clear. I would One just sit hour. and watch. You think you get chopped? You get chopped? You think I get chopped up? No, no. I would survive. I would just quit. <laughs> sawmill, sweet. You're just sliding the logs up. I'm out. It's a good smell. I bet man. that gets done. I bet first six are like, whoa, this is awesome. True. Number eight thousand. You're like, I wish I had. I wish I had studied. I, my yeah. problem, my downfall is I hate <laughs> dust. I hate dust. Yeah. I hate fucking dust, bro. It's nothing but salt dust. Well, they got a big vacuum that sucks the dust right out of there. They're not filling that place with dust. Yeah, Matt. What are you, a fucking idiot? I'm talking about the old school. I'm nah, about the we're old talking school lumber. Mills. We're talking real lumber. Yeah, I'm talking the old. You're mill. talking about what you read in a book. We're I'm talking not, shit we've seen. Dude, we went right past the lumber. I passed. Matt, I, I've been there six fucking times. You went I to lived in North Kakalaki. <laughs> oh, you the did? hell are you talking you about? Lum you saw a lumber thing? What are you talking to? You ever been to lumber thing? I've been to Lumberton. You've been Lumberton, in North Carolina. Have you been in the mill? Man, I fucking grew up in mills. You didn't grow up in a saw. You never been, you never set foot in a sawmill. <laughs> did you ever go to a sawmill? No, but uh, me either. I wish I ever did. I never. If I'm, if I'm using, <laughs> I wish I did. <laughs> I have no desire to have been able to flex on guys when I'm in my thirties. I'm, be be like, I'm not flexing. I went to mills. I went to this dude. No, I, it looks like a cool place. The sawmill. I hear you. It's just from Twin Peaks. Just from watching Twin yeah. Peaks. But every time Still I go on. home, every time my dad's fly is big fucking thirty-two wood. years old. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, he's on my foot right now. Yeah, he's, he's he been on every podcast. I don't understand how this guy's doing this. He's hanging in. Try to keep. You should make him like a pet. He's the one I fucking hit. Yeah, he's still I here. I knocked him out cold. It's got to be the same fly. <laughs> Slow as hell. Dumb as hell. But yeah, dude, the. Uh, you I can't get him. him. I got him. You touched him? I hit him. He's fine, dude. He's, he's down. He's that down thing's, on the ground. No, he's yeah, not. He's never going. But yeah, dude. <laughs> 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 he didn't get him. I got him. With you my pushed him. Right there. Yeah, you he pushed him, dude. He's flying I got him above with my you pinky. now. He took it. He pushed him. Isn't it crazy the amount of hits like a bug can take? You can flick an ant across the room, and it's there's barely any trauma. Yeah. Yeah. It's that exoskeleton, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so what was what was so, what did you like? Oh, did you get to go to? There was oh you guys you guys didn't hit the bars. Nah. There was a bar, we went to. Was it with you or was it with these? There was one I was eating fucking sausage. Oh yes, sausage gravy every night. Yes, was it the? Uh, oh my god, was yeah. it a barbecue place? No, it was like a okay. NC State dude, bar. We it was didn't like go anywhere. It's like right around the corner. Yeah, yeah, it was right next to it, and I was just dude. crushing sausage gravy every night. That's actually delicious. It was delicious. While you're hammered, you're like this. I mean, oh. three bowls of sausage gravy. It was. It was. See like how this <laughs> turns out, <laughs> dude. I actually did the exact. <laughs> I did the exact opposite. Yeah. I the very first night. 
I went to an Ethiopian place and ordered. I thought I was getting it for delivery, so I was like, I wanted to make it worth their while. So I got two entrees. Figuring I'd share with Sid. I didn't know Ethiopians where they just give you like, you wrap it up in this little like, uh, the fuck is it called? It's a type of like flatbread. In there here. I called it. I was like, can I have the Inertia? He's like, yeah. Yeah, if I got two Ethiopian entrees. Sid didn't want anything to do with it. Yeah, sorry I mispronounced that. You're at a strip mall in North Carolina. What? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, it was like kind correcting of... you on how to say something in Ethiopia. Well, I did ask because I was like okay, Inertia and there and there he and she's like, what? she was just at a loss. Yes. I was like, what is that flatbread made from teff flour? She was like, in the hitter. I was like, yes, I'll have that. Yes, thank you. Was <laughs> she, she was beautiful? Ethiopian, Ethiopian babes. All are beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And there was a what's it called? Etrusian or um, what is it called? Ethiopian. There's also Eritrea. Eritrea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, however you say it. Yeah. Eritrea. So. Eritrean, Eritrean, yeah, Eritrean. Yeah. That's what Eritrean. Eritrean, yeah. where the uh <laughs> and Djibouti. Yeah, it used to we're be. We're talking Djibouti. horn. Exactly. <laughs> we're but talking yeah. horn about. Dude, I ate two Ethiopian entrees and then went on. I was, it was a mistake, dude. Wow. We so full. two full Ethiopian entrees and, and then went on stage. <laughs> so apparently that that bread, the anita, it's made of teff flour. And the point of it is, you eat it and then it, like it soaks up a ton of water and expands in your stomach. I don't get to eat bread all, all that often, so I was excited to eat this fucking anita. Oh, so yeah, I, how to treat you? You I never eat bread. Pigged on, well, it's, it's, it's teff flour. It's gluten, oh, okay. Naturally gluten-free. So I pigged on it. had so much of it, and I pigged on it, and it, like I was like, oh, my stomach was so full. And the lady was telling me, she was like, this other lady at the, at the club was like, yeah, you eat that because it makes it expands in your stomach and fills you up. I already expanded my stomach with meat. Then I piled the bread, and it was just fucking yeah. oh, oh, foaming at me, dude. Yes. I was like on stage Friday night like, Welcome to my world. Yeah, dude, I I, cool. Every time I'm performing, I'm stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so full. It's the mood, like, dude. <laughs> it's, you have to eat a lot. Yeah. And then you pig the pig out afterwards is phenomenal. I went on a date with an Ethiopian girl once, and she took me to, like, an, she was like, you e Ethiopian? <laughs> dude, I, pause, pause. <laughs> this is something you're going to like. Living with the three of us together, me, yeah. Chris, and Tommy is the loudest <laughs> all day every day is constant like farts just body noises all yeah, day it's long three i mean we're dad's age <laughs> so it's the noises dads make kind of <laughs> sitting down getting up <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm getting up <sighs> all right what are you getting into what are you doing today <laughs> uh, play some Xbox. Uh. <laughs> Tell you what, these new games, they don't make them like they used to. Uh. It's the loudest. <laughs> Farts, dude, it stinks. The it always stinks. is all maxed out volume. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody just. <laughs> <laughs> dude, my dad's ringtone is like it hurts your ears. It's crazy. It's insane. My dad. I my think dad, he pays extra for dude, like extra decibels. Yeah. He gets he gets ESPN alerts all day. <laughs> <laughs> and then the screen is like zoomed in. Like, he got so a, it's like four words. He got a new ring, the the ring thing oh. for the front door, so oh. that thing goes off every five fucking seconds. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, turn that notification off. He's like, I like it. They use all their notifications. They love it. They love notifications. They get news notifications. Like, yeah. Breaking. Dude, did you, did, what's your dad's zoom on? Is it zoomed in pretty hard? You're right about that. The text? Dude, it's, it's five words. huge. That's how Voss is. It's huge. Rich Voss. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sitting next to him and be texting. Dude, I saw a lady on a Kindle on the plane, and it was just like four sentences per flip. It was just like, <laughs> dude, she was just... Just crushing, speed read. Crushing pages. She's reading like Cards Against Humanity. I could read it fully from the cards. <laughs> <laughs> I was behind her reading it alongside. It's like, this book sucks. She's reading like romance novels. God, yeah. They, just zoomed why? up. Why? Why? These are perverts, dude. They're constantly. Yeah, women are fucking perverts, sick, dude. dumb perverts. Perverts. Yeah. I, I always... Uh, <laughs> Like the they're not like you. us. Like they're not the having fucking gay dreams about their friends. Yeah, dude. Them being, I'm sorry. We suppress that. Yeah, but we're not reading it on... We're not watching on the plane. True. You watching on the plane? Speak for yourself, dude. Yeah. I read gay romance Speak novels for every time Moron. I fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're watching porn on the plane? No. Did you guys ever go to gay the romance up? novels? No, I've never watched. I, gay romance novels yeah. are nice. Two dudes like, no, let me pick you up. No, uh, I think we were onto something here. <laughs> what was that question? You were porn about on the plane? Did you ever go to the bathroom on the plane, jerk off? Yes. No. You did? Not, not successfully though. Really? I didn't. I didn't crumb. Did someone knock? <laughs> no, I just fapped, 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 and was like. I don't think I want this that bad. This is more mental, and I was like, I'm done. Yeah, really? it was a while back. Yeah, 
try to fap on a plane. And I was just like, I don't want this. I've done it on a train. Fap on to completion? Yeah. Oh, we talked about this. Yeah. On Amtrak. Yeah. Though you got to watch out, though. Those doors can fly yeah. open. Yeah. No, you put the lock on. I know, but sometimes you hit the lock and it didn't latch. Ooh. I've taken several pisses where the door is pops, slammed open. Pops just on <laughs> and the doorways are like fucking 10 feet wide. Yeah. They're yeah. stopping at a He's station. just in there <laughs> trying to be <laughs> bouncing around. <laughs> That's also kind of a feat, though, because you are bouncing. Yeah. You, oh, you add it. Yeah, it adds. Yeah. Sure, a little vibration. Yeah. Put your butt on like the shitty thing. <laughs> I've jerked off while driving before. Same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the highway? Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> Heard that. <laughs> Heard that. I hit a rest stop in Pittsburgh. I'll never forget it. Dude, the first time you I pulled over and I did pulled it? over. I did it on 95. Yeah. See, that to me is sketchier. No, I, I couldn't. A parking lot jerk is the, the Park, most criminal jerk. It is. Jerk. It is. But I parked. <laughs> it it really is. is. I agree. I parked as far away. I parked in the back. <laughs> that's what those spots now are that's for. That's the most criminal spot. No, I worked myself up to near completion. I said, I can't. I can't do this. Pulled over, back? uncorked one, <laughs> back on the road, dude. <laughs> dude, the first time I bought a personal tub of Vaseline, <laughs> the first time I bought a, a personal tub of Vaseline, it was like I bought it for, actually, it's probably for my ass. I probably had a sore ass. I was like 19, driving home my Chevy Lumina. It was just like looking at it. I was like, dude, get a hold of yourself. And finally, like, <laughs> and just started fapping on the way back. I'm like a suburban Whoa. back road. I couldn't handle it. I never had, I never, I always shared the vase with an entire family. Yeah. So you mm. couldn't devastate it. You couldn't take like a huge yes. dip. So and you like I had my in own. the car? Yeah, bro. What did uh, you do with your hand Thermal. I just wiped it on a thermal. I had, t I, my car was a mess. <laughs> so I had tons of like old shirts. So I, was like, <laughs> I was at work. Oh, okay. I was working for a builder. I was just bad. <laughs> in my car. I was like driving around. Like, I was like, yeah, I was like dropping <laughs> checks off and shit. Fucking, I was like, well, let me stop in this right here. Grab some fucking vase my sore ass. <laughs> None of it affected me. Yeah. Yeah, I had like a pound of weed in my trunk, fapped in my Lumina. It was just like, yeah. nice. What am I going to do tonight? <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> That's great. No, right. Yeah, it's pretty. It's really, it was I know. A I got to work on that. Simple time. I got to work on that. Nice. I've been like, I all right. So we talked about it last podcast. I did my 10 days sober. Yeah. Okay. And by that, I mean one day. One day? Totally <laughs> yeah, I made sober. one day. Totally sober. It's completely. What was the. So you did, dude, you, you have to Actually, watch two. Life of Crime. I did too. What? You think. Did they turn to the bottle? They turned to other stuff, but it, <laughs> it shows you the life. I turned to the bottle on the second day, and I, I felt like a bum, dude. Dude, these guys. I was having too much fun. I had to turn to the bottle. <laughs> you gotta and watch. Then, and since then, I've been strict. Well, at least you're having fun. These guys are having bad times. They're having bad One times. One guy gets hit with a $50 a month child support check, and he's like, I can't fucking do it. Like, dude, it's 50 bucks a month. He's like, they're coming at me from all angles. I'm going <laughs> to use Yeah. They followed him for 36 years, bro. That's crazy. And documented their lives. Man, you're not gonna want to use, dude. You watch this, you go. Not to give a spoiler, one dude literally like explodes. <laughs> <laughs> he just—it's like it, the aftermath is horrible. Jesus. What Sarah do you mean? Davis. How's he explode? All he dies, and all of his fucking fluids just leak out of him. Deacon, but dude, it's—they show it. It's fucked. It's fucked. They and was the it. camera crew the first to find him? No, but they show the shit. <laughs> They got the pictures. Then he, the guy, the, the guy was dedicated. He goes to the morgue. And what he a kind of shitty guy. Unzips the bag. Yeah, that's dude. a weird thing to do. Is just to film losers for thirty thirty six fucking years, fucking years dude, and not help like, them. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Well, he like film their kids like being like, "Mommy, your track marks look bad and stuff." Yeah, like that. dude, it doesn't that was, help the kids. Is he British? Nah. nah, he's like a white he's, dude. He's it's from all HBO. Jersey. He's an HBO guy. Yeah, he did a thing in the eighties. Like, he did a life of crime, 1984. Filmed it. Everyone's like, "Oh, this is pretty sick, dude." It's them shoplifting. It's the funniest shit. Yeah, <laughs> they're just really crouched funny. in a fucking in the like a clover. They're solid. using sneak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're using their sneak abilities. If you hit B and crouch, dude, no one can see. You. One guy, br they like bring in their own box and they just like flip it down in the store and like wait and they stuff shit in they it. Go and on, run they out. go to the box. They go Metal Gear Solid. They, <laughs> they use the box, dude. At one point, they stand outside of a store. And there's like merchandise and they just like chill. And they just go and grab a box and run away, dude. It's the funniest shit. They make like 80 bucks and they're like, working man's a sucker, dude. So fucking that's funny. How, that, that's your mood when you hit the scanner? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've, I've laid off the scanner. You have, but. Now I'm on the, the uh, Noble Eightfold Path, dude. I, I've read the first one. I was like, don't steal. I was like, shit. Fuck. 
damn it. It's got to be, be funny to see how many times over that 36 years they're like, does it get any better than this? Dude, <laughs> look, <laughs> does it get they're on. high on the hog <laughs> in the beginning, and then it's like two hours of just like, oh. Yeah. It's fucked. But give them credit. 36 years is a strong run. Yeah, it was. It was. They were institutionalized for a good amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> they get breaks. <laughs> they're so funny. They they're, some breaks. When they're in jail, dude, they're so they're like, I'm going to fucking get out of here. <laughs> Have fun again. And you just watch life slowly catch back up to them. The guy's like, they fucking asking me for 50 bucks a month. I don't know if I can handle this. Damn, I want to watch this. And dude, it's it's so fucking tight. How, I mean, long, how long do we have? It's two how hours. Long, all right, fuck. It's two hours long. Well, I'm telling What's you, it on? It. It's on HBO. Oh, nice. It's good, bro. Is it new? Yeah. It's oh, relatively shit. new. Dude, so that's the whole point of my the reason I was talking about. Well, actually, I want to hear about your... No, nah, falling it. off the wagon. Fell off the wagon Fell immediately. The wagon. Didn't even get on, dude. I had one foot on the wagon. You had one foot on. Flew off. So you were chipping. You had you had a couple. B, you were chipping. You had a couple BLs. I was just yeah. on a skateboard on the back of the wagon. Yeah, I was hanging on to the wagon. <laughs> hit this, night number one, I hit the speed wobbles pretty hard. I was like, oh shit. No, it's too many shows, dude. Yeah, I guess that'll get you. Yeah, it was, you're, uh, you're coming at you from all angles. They came at me from all angles. <laughs> I literally got peer pressured into boozing. Somebody yeah, came happened. in and was like, what? I was like, I'm trying to, I'm just going to go a couple of days off. And they're like, why? Drink. And they got, they got me. They got you. Yeah. BL. I was like, have one. I had a couple of BLs. It happens. Yeah. What, how quick was the progression to like get in hand? Did you get hammered? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the first BL, you're like, you're right. It's just about discipline. It is. You have one. I Dude, can have a couple. They all do it. In the no, show. what they happens, all do it. what happens is <laughs> you, you go to the, you go to the stand for fucking 10 hours <laughs> You know how hard it is to sit at the fucking a comedy club for that long? Yeah, it is. Just having people coming up to you like, hey, what's up? Hey, you're like, hey. Yeah. The whole time you're just thinking of those fucking cold. Those cold pills. pills. <laughs> <laughs> my plant, my plant ally calls Those to me. cold foamers. True. That is your plant ally. That made me feel good when we had that conversation. It's an ancient fucking It's an ancient. Oh, yeah. We talked about like the Mesopotamians. <laughs> there was, there had to have been, as ancient as booze is, there had to be one civilization that kind of stumbled across Bud Lights. For sure. You think so? Just like kind of experimenting? close mm -hmm. to a Bud Light. Yeah, water down the mead. <laughs> yeah. I can drink these all day. Yeah. Yeah, just getting wrecked. Being like, build that fucking pyramid right now. For sure. Like, why? It's like, fucking listen to me. Herod, <laughs> Herod apparently was a drunk. Yeah. Herod the Great. Wasn't it the monks hammered. and stuff that were making the booze? They made some, some of them. Yeah. I thought that was their thing. They're like, no, we're praying. Oh, they made <laughs> we're just getting wrecked. No one's allowed in because it's very <laughs> sacred up here. So there's yeah, a chance. It's a good move. <laughs> there's a chance. It's a men's only. Yes. Bar. It's a men's club. Yeah, the, dude. There was <laughs> Buddhist sex that like. Club. <laughs> yeah, dude. The Buddhist had fucking uh, they had like temples and they like had basically like indentured servants. They had like lots of money. Yeah. They had so much money. They would they would slowly the emperors would make money, and it would just all eventually find its way in the Buddhist temple. Yeah. The emperor would be like, no, you guys are shut down. They would take their money back. Yeah, we knew we we just watched uh, Passion of the Christ. We know all about how. Herod acted. Do you really? Yeah, he's, he was a fucking drunk. Yeah. Punches Pilate was a power hungry freak. Uh, okay. He wanted to. I kind of sympathize with Punches. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to. He wanted to. Uh, and Judas. They were coming at him from all angles. Dude, they were coming at him. Punches was coming from all angles. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not talking. I didn't read this in the Bible. I'm talking strictly the Mel Gibson depiction of this. Well, it's, it's, it's probably historically more accurate. P perhaps. He. Punches genuinely went through greater lengths than they dem demonstrate in the Bible. He was like, come on, guys. Yeah. He's like, you're not saying you're like a worldly king, and he was like, no, nah, my king, my kingdom's not of this world. Yeah, he's like, come on, guys, let him out. Yeah, yeah. And and kept going, like, kept going. <laughs> That's why they scourged him. He's like, they whipped him the shit yes. out of him. He's like, come on, right? Yeah, isn't this enough? And his enough? wife allegedly had a dream, being like, don't kill that guy, and then he did it. And he's yes. like, so he was all he was. There, he was washed all his angles. fucking hands, dude. He was like, this is you guys. He thought Caesar was gonna come for him if he didn't fucking exactly manage this situation. Exactly. Yes. Yes. He was in a real tight spot. Didn't he get killed though? Didn't Punch's pilot eventually? Didn't he get executed? Sure. I think he got executed. I think they called him back and fucking cut his throat. I think Judas also. I don't know. If so. I don't know. Yeah, he hung himself. Exactly. You think they have seen Judas? Fucking... You think he didn't? How many? Maybe. <laughs> That's a good theory. <laughs> he was framed. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? Punch's pilot was ordered uh, by to execution by Caligula. Vampire. Yes, Caligula got him. Caligula, damn, him that sucks. He ran into the buzzsaw that was <laughs> Caligula. Caligula, the retard, got him. Yeah, dude. That's tough. But yeah, yeah Punch's Judas felt pretty bad about what he did. He did. I think in Christianity we should forgive. I do. You know. 
I forgive Judas. I forgive him. That was the ultimate Christ lesson. That's why, him, right? dude. That's why Jesus he washed everybody's have. feet. Oh, we were talking about that too. Props to the fucking thief that was getting crucified. Also, true. Put up yeah. that last second hail mary by being like, "Yeah, dude, you are pretty cool. I love you." And Jesus was like, "You're coming with me." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. And the other guy that was like, "Shut up, both of you." <laughs> he just went straight to hell. <laughs> dude, I had a very difficult experience this weekend of that pertains to all of this stuff. So, dude, Saturday, so. Friday, I'm not even into Friday night. Friday night, we watched the Kenny G documentary. Awesome. God so fucking it. good, dude. Does it, so turn good. Out, it turns out he's cool? He's a fucking raging dickhead. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he's that, a raging that sounds fucking cool. dickhead. It, it is very funny it to watch. Makes him cooler. It is funny. It's, it's hilarious, dude. But maybe we'll talk Kenny G on the page, bro. Okay. Yes. I could talk about Kenny G for a while. A lot of the Kenny G fans are I was here. fucked up, dude, from watching. I didn't know like, anything about the guy when I fully got a taste of his personality. Me and, me and Sid would just like, come back and get stoned. So I'm like sitting there watching the Kenny G doc and I was like, have to be like, I guess I know about Kenny G now. Like, <laughs> <sighs> and I yeah. was like lay down and go to bed. But yeah, so dude, that's why you how good How good is a fucking post-show hotel movie? It's awesome. How good is it? That's when I fell in love with the industry. True. Remember that? <laughs> that makes sense. I got done with the show, a comedy show, come home and you're like, this is the only thing that's on TV. You're at peak loneliness. And it's like, yeah. this rules. No, I had the bees. Bees okay. was sitting on his bed looking at his phone. <laughs> Sharing a room crash. with a dude. Sharing a room with a grown man is, that's, you gotta adjust. It's, it's weird. Yeah, we had like the nighttime talk and we we're like, same thing. You're like, Ugh, like adjusting, getting yeah. comfortable. Oh, you both make noises all night. Yeah. It's dude, me and bees hitting the snores, dude. <laughs> I have to wake him up. I throw pillows at him. Like, dude, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, we didn't have any, at least I didn't hear him snoring. I don't know if I snored, but yeah, we had, we had some peaceful nights. Dude, the second day I wake up, Said the kid might be the ultimate road dog. Drive seven hours down, gets up the next day. His brother was two and a half hours away. Drove to his brother, hung with his brother, drove back. So it's a, a five hour drive. Then the next day wakes up. Who the up fuck drive. was his brother? He was in North Carolina. He was two hours away somewhere. <laughs> his brother didn't come to him? No, nah, he's like, he has like a, he has a kid. So Sid wanted to go see his like nephew. He never nice. met his, yeah, yeah. one of his nieces or nephews. So he goes and handled, he just handled biz, dude. Yeah. That's trucker blood. Seven hours, five, yeah, seven. Yeah, that's a lot. Three days, bro. And then he's doing the whole time. His secret, though, he, like, watches YouTube videos while he drives. So he's like, what? what? He's like, oh, I can't wait to watch this video on the drive. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so I wake up. I've, Sid's gone, so it's just me. And there's a bookstore, like, two miles away. So I took a trek. I walked to a bookstore. Fucking, I missed time to pee. I was chugging water. I always buy way too much water when I go to a hotel. Then I'm like, I got to finish this. So I'm, like, walking around the full bladder, peed outside. That was pretty, that's a good yeah. town for peeing outside. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of space. So I go to this bookstore. I find this book that was like, it was like at 10 cents. I got it from outside and it was, it was such a, I go home and I'm such a good book. I'm engrossed in it. It's like all about like finding meaning in life. It's written by like a uh, Jesuit priest. It's, it's like one of the best They're the books. Best. They're great, dude. Tiny little book. I'm sawing through. I'm like, who is this guy? It's like two hours before showtime. Look it up. Dude, the guy was a pedophile. I was like, motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> dude, like, no. Motherfucker. Well, sometimes they no, know no, the no. meaning. He, dude, dude, he nailed it, but it was, and here's the, it, it was, he had <laughs> sex with like, he, he was at a high school having sex with young girls, and I was like, 12 year olds, bro, and I was like, motherfucker, dude. Dude, he never look, you find a little short thing. I remember there was like a meditation thing that I listened to, and it fucking, I loved it, mm -hmm. right? It was fucking 10 minutes. Yep. Someone had mixed it with some music and shit. The guy's voice was great. And I shared it with Gerben because I was like, it's really good. All right, Do baby. not tell me who this guy yeah. is. Yeah. Do not tell. I don't want to know anything about yeah. this guy. Yeah. The first thing Gerben did, uh, did after he listened to it was look it up and realize the guy became like an alcoholic, like killed his wife or something. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I didn't want to know yeah. anything about Dude, this guy. It killed me, man. I, I, was, I was like, this guy, this is a great book. And I looked it up and it was just like. Yeah, he fucking. You find something short and sweet that's perfect. Never look that person up. True. Yeah. Just let it be. Just the just the it's art. Too late. I'm gonna finish yeah. the book. Yeah. I try to get back into it right after learning. It was like, Dah. yeah, it's gonna have a. And it's such a beautiful book. I'm like, damn, this guy was just thinking this all up. Meanwhile, like having sex with twelve year olds, telling them he's like, I'm just sexually awakening you. You gotta start separate the art from the artist, and the only way to you do must. that is to never look up the artist. You can't. Dude. Yeah. This fuck. This destabilized me. It was right before, and then I had like. So I'm like, oh, great. And I was like, Pfft. and I had to do that show afterwards. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was bummed, dude. I was just like, fucking pedophile. Yeah, it's, this is, this is, I feel like it's kind of similar to the gay sex in the dream situation. I'd much rather, I'd blow a thousand guys in <laughs> dreams to that guy never to hurt young women ever again. Dude. It's probably why I blew that guy. 
to, to pay for his sins. Protect. Like I'm just Jesus. protecting, dude. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Every time. That's why you I blew my high child. school guidance counselor. What? Yeah, you saved a child. Probably did. Every time you blow a dude in your dreams, you save a kid. <laughs> yeah, a kid gets his wings. The priest is just like, oh, never mind, actually. I think I have to go to a funeral. Yeah, dude, a Jesuit <laughs> priest abusing the girls. Although, yeah. I thought he was abusing boys. And it was girls, and I went, not as bad. Isn't that <laughs> fucked up? That's literally what my head did. For a second, I went, I'm like, that's horrible. And I was like, what? yeah, that's bad. It's crazy, though, but it's crazy my brain... All my verbal coding you were led just up like, to the At second. least he's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> For literally, I, dude, that the synapses fired to the point where I went, eh, and I went, no, 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 no. Yeah, you yeah. gotta block the bad ideas. Crazy, but it's it's funny that it does does occur. Right. I was just kind of like, like, I guess you know, because it is worse when you hear about young boys. You're like, ah, oh, the fuck. Yeah, I was. Like, young young girls are equally as bad, but it just gets filtered through that not gay filter for a second, where you go. Eh. Yeah, no, no, yeah. No. Mm-hmm. The guy no, fucking little boys, no you feel like is incurable. The guy yeah. fucking little girls, you're like, you just got jerk, yeah, <laughs> jerk, bump it up. <laughs> <laughs> you just missed the high <laughs> jump. <laughs> 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 right through the bar. It's like, bro. Yeah, and what a fucking dastardly thing to do. I'm sexually awakening you. It's like you fucking yeah. bastard. Yeah, you're trying to come. Because he, dude, was you he read this guy's book, book. He could have got any of us. Yeah, this book was great. Yeah, he's like the uh, the waters of pleasure, but an inch deep. When you sip from them, you come up with sand in your mouth. Yeah, you never want to look like, up. Okay, you never <laughs> want to look up the author. Yeah, he got I him. read fucking. There's this book. It's called Mind Comp. <laughs> 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 and then I googled the guy who wrote it. <laughs> Turns out, imagine being like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, just discovering Hitler. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Turns out that Hitler is a real jerk. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, just page one. Just be like, yeah, all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> three pages in, you're like, what did he do? He advanced. I he was speaking to my very soul. Yeah, he was. He to me. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone came across that book without coming across what he did, that'd be, there has to be somebody who yeah. was just like, there's definitely somebody who yeah. didn't know Hitler wrote my That they didn't get the History Channel. They're just... In China, yeah, yeah. Oh, they play Kenny G's music in China, by the way. Really, I if, bet. When it's time to go home, they play Kenny G nationwide. Kenny G going home comes on loudspeakers, and everyone has to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's damn be totally true, but it's I true. like it. <laughs> All of China, in certain provinces, at yes, least. I like it's it. It's the national. Sorry to nitpick that. No, no, it's that bitch like of me. Just no, 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 no. It's a very yeah. fair. Matt, point. I apologize. It's a very fair point. I yeah. think wherever where the technology resides. That's part of they're their blasting because their cities are on programming, <laughs> yeah. like they do prayer and like uh, it's Kenny yeah. G going home, and they're like it's a very pleasant melody. The guy makes his daughter play it on like a clarinet, and he stands there with his pants pulled up, all proud. Like, see, <laughs> yeah. do you see? Do you, see do you the, get it now? You see the melody? <laughs> Did do Kenny G it? go through like a hard rocking phase? Not at all. He really? invented smooth jazz. Yeah, yeah, but did he take an interesting route there? Not at all. No, 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 yeah, sorry. Hey, when you said he invented smooth jazz, Guardian went <laughs> <laughs> real fucking like it, uh, like Michael. <laughs> Dude, that clip when she's they're like, "Why do you want to go to Poland?" She's like, "Auschwitz." <laughs> <laughs> he knows a lot about that shit, by the way. Michael's researched World War II, I think, pretty deeply. You gotta watch out, Mike. <laughs> he likes. He loves the Allies. And he supports but- the Allies. Yeah, he's well. He's Australian, dude. The Allies rocked down there, protected true. them. True. They were about to feel the pain, dude. Yeah, dude. The Japanese were not happy with the boys down under. Jeez. They wanted to come in there. Yeah, man. They could have gotten them. Now, seeing seeing the state of things, they now were the Japanese might liberate them. That would be what nice. A, what a nice twist that would be historically. The Japanese have liberated them. They're sure. Yeah, from the yeah the Australians under the fascist regime. True. The communists. Yeah, what's going on in fascist. China? Are they locking down? They're doing whatever they. Yeah, that's dude. They're having Kenny fun. G comes they're on every day at five o'clock. Lockdown. Yeah, this has been their life. They live in a, they live in a G prison. Yeah, dude. You come on, it's like and if you're like, no, nah, I want to stay out, some guy comes. Some and guy hits, hits you with fucking, fucking sticks. Hits you fucking home, dude. <laughs> Put you in a fishnet. Remember when they were netting people early in COVID? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dudes were trying to run. They're like, come here. That's how they keep the, the case down. <laughs> they kept the cases down. Dude. Hit with nets. Yeah, they drag you into your apartment. <laughs> 
You'd even know like your window turned you to metal. You're like, what seal the fuck? Your, seal you in, hit you with a net. They'd get netted while r- walking <laughs> oh down the street. God. How many old people do you think they just quietly grabbed, just died in like a fucking yeah, window? That was on that HBO thing. thing. Yeah. There, there was an HBO COVID thing, and they were like, they ran out of space or whatever, allegedly. True. In the, there was like d- dudes with their moms, their geezer moms, like in ambulances. And they were like, there's no room at this hospital, so you got to either take her home or, but we got to use this ambulance, so we got to take her out. They'd just take her out on the street. Yikes. The guy would sit there. Also, vaping increases. Kenny G would come on. He'd have to drag yeah. her home. What happened? I don't, I'm going. I'm looking right into the wind. Really? Yeah. I don't care. Vaping what increases. What the fuck, Chris? Chance. Why are you trying to show off for the podcast? <laughs> you were crazy. Dude, uh, yeah, I, I walked out. If I, if I put my money on the Russia thing, dude, and it turned out to be a total fucking hoax, I'd vape in the face of COVID, dude. It's not a hoax. You're vaping in the face what? of Omicron? <laughs> he, I came out. You're crazy, bro? Dude, I came out when Omicron got it announced. Chris was weeping. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to go to all my fucking cool festivals because the Omicron. Omicron. Man, you always you always put me in this situation where I gotta dig myself out. Of <laughs> constantly, we know you weren't crying. Constantly but. trying to correct this. To correct we know you weren't crying, we know but you did. You are fake news. You You're cried. Belly. You were belly. You're belly. You're belly. You're belly. You're belly. Constantly. You cried when the hoax was not real. No, I didn't. You didn't. No. Okay. Never mind. But you're gonna get shut down by Omnis. Omicron. Omicron. No, I'm not. I'm not worried about it. Oh, okay. I, I mean, fear, it's a fair, it's a fair well, fear. I fear for, I mean, I honestly think it's like if they try to shut things down again, it's like. Long, dark winter. I mean. Give me another one, dude. mayhem. Give me another one. I love There's them. There's going to be a lot more written. I actually, kind of I love them. On. Long, dark winters. I had a good time. I chilled, yeah. Just went out. Nah, yeah. Yeah, you, you escaped. You were fucking. I was out. I was out on the range, dude. dude. Yeah, you were chilling. It was actually. A, I was out there with you. Yeah, it you was great. Yeah. yeah. Chris was out on the range too. You guys had a good old. All you have to do is yeah, just go out. Oh yeah, you're thinking and everybody else is gone. And this shit rules. Remember the highway? Remember the highway? Remember the, the highway, highway was so nice. Oh my god! Dude, I, the first time I drove when I drove to Stanhope's. Yeah. I drove across the country and it was empty. Yeah. It was fucking sick. It and then right. you'd stop for gas and it was fucking 10 cents. Yeah. Yeah. It was wild. The drive the drive down to North Carolina or South Carolina yeah, yeah, yeah. was incredible. The drive back to, to Virginia and oh, then back home, yeah. it was all just like Fuck, that was just nice. us in yeah. the open road. But when you don't have any tokens, that's when <laughs> things get dark. Long when you, dark when dark everybody runs out of tokens. You don't have any tokens and you're just like, <laughs> fuck, I'm just stuck here. I can't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, we had tokens. I can't see my plans. <laughs> I can't see my plans. You got to walk to see your friends. I would. If and you're, you, if you're and an then you know what you do with your friends? What do you do? McDonald's. <laughs> you and your boys get McDonald's. Get to your friends. You guys are plans? big about Arby's on the road. I I, like. There was this, there was a brief stage in my life where Arby's buff buff chicken. Yeah. Sandwich. That was nice. I was a beef and cheddar guy. They do have the meats, bro. Dude, the beef Speaking and cheddar. Speaking of the meats, too. Hold the onion roll, please. Plain roll. I, really? Now, I, dude, I was I hated vegetables. You don't vegetables. want that indigestions. To the, I was I hated vegetables when I was young. They give me an onion roll and Arby's. I was fucked up. Yeah, I was going back in like I said, no onion roll, plain roll. <laughs> I can't taste onion. I hate vegetables. Yeah, that's really? how fucked up my palate was back in the day. <laughs> I've always liked onions. I love them. They're delicious. I yeah. liked the flavor of them. I hated the idea. They, they were vegetables. I don't like the texture. They were vegetables. And I was like, thick Ugh. onion. I don't like that. A red onion texture is great. I'm not a big fan. Yeah, I like, right, I like I'll a give crunch. You that. Dude, my, my grandfather used to eat them like apples. He would just munch an onion. That's crazy. He was munching on. <laughs> That's he, dude, he escaped crazy. Ireland in like 1924. Was he just crying the whole time? Just He was just munching on. Why not an apple? Or, he, oh, I don't know, dude. He was munching on. He would just fucking grab an onion and munch I could, it. I'm like more okay with someone biting into the outside of an orange. I'm just Michael now. <laughs> <laughs> he used to eat an onion. Where are we at time wise, Jardine? I'm gonna pee pee. Yeah, I gotta piss so pee pee's, yeah. All right. Well, guys, dude, um, that's the end of the regular oh, podcast. Dude, yeah. Let's do uh You wanna do dates? Yeah, yes, dude. Be, Thank I'm God you have bi- dude. I'm fucking strictly business, dude. I would have never done this. <laughs> you see this, bro? Yeah. Strictly business, man. Oh man. My boy Brandon gave Yamaha. me Yamaha. <laughs> professional he's sponsored, dude. It's it's professional fishing. I like dude. American Really? Stuff. Professional fisher, bro. I like American made. Well, dude, it's American fishing team, bro. Strictly business. <laughs> Shout out motherfucking Brandon. Uh, yeah, more of an Evan Rude guy. Hmm? Versus Yamaha, please, dude. Right, On New Year's, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what you said. Yeah, it's an American what is motorboat it engine company. What's it called? Evinrude. That's a good motor. I'm Evan with you on that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Evinrude. But I got to represent. They got the team, a two-stroke. They got a two-stroke. Very efficient. What's the one boat? Like fucking a million dollars. <laughs> is a million-dollar boat? 
Dude, there's a type of oh, I can't, I'll forget. My dad was pointing them out. Hold on, Florida. New Year's. Yes, yeah, good the dates. All the people, all my West Coast players. I'll be at the Irvine Improv, and then the sixth, seventh, and eighth of January, I'll be at Caroline's on Broadway, and then the thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth, I believe I'll be at the Tacoma Comedy Club, and then the twenty. Yes, this is the one. Twenty, twenty first, twenty second, Summit City in Fort Wayne, dude. That's where it goes down. That'll be nice. Yes. I'll be real soon. Yes. Yeah, I'll be in St. Louis, uh, January 1st and the 8th. January 1st? St. Louis Helium Comedy Club. No, no, my bad. January 7th. Okay. Sorry. January 7th and the 8th. Thank you. I was going to say, they're hitting you with the New Year's? No, dude, that would be fun. Yeah. No way. I actually think I just canceled my, um, I'm trying to cancel my New Year's Day. Because of Omicron? Because I'm trying to go to the Fiesta Bowl. Yeah. True. Watch my, my Irish. Yeah, get out. Or I might stay in LA and go to the Rose Bowl football game. Where's it at? Where do you got to do New Year's Day? New Year's, I'm in Irvine, California. Ooh, but sick, I could fly out to Arizona anyway. Do it. Just no show it. You can't no show. I know. That would be a sick move, though. Do a switcheroo. Get burn something. every bridge, never do an improv again. Yeah. Just, just no to go show. watch Notre Dame lose to just, Oklahoma dude, State. Claim <laughs> Omicron. Claim Omicron the day of. I've been thinking about claiming Omicron. <laughs> Trust me, I've been doing too many of these fucking shows. I've been thinking about hitting it hard. Look, I think I have I've Omicron. been exposed. I've been exposed to just Omicron. Just to be careful. Just to be careful. <laughs> I can't come to the show. I, I need to play video games for 12 hours. <laughs> Instagram the next day is just us hammered. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix. yeah. yeah. Like the Omicron really took me out, dude. Omicron. He's like, I'm fucked up. Omicron might have led you back to the bottle. Something hit me. You might have had the Omicron. I was stricken down, man. You had the Omicron. Melancholies. Dude, Indianapolis, February 2nd. No, February. I'm getting these twos and fours. February 4th and the 5th at Helium Comedy Club, Indianapolis, and Austin, Texas. March 18th, March 19th, mm. Cap City. Uh oh, Austin. Yeah. Maybe we can figure something out for oh, that. Oh, dude, that'd be too funny. <laughs> that'd be hilarious. That's just a fun idea to have. Yeah, it's a fun idea. Um, Chris, what do you got? I'm in Florida this weekend, December 10th and 11th, Fort Lauderdale. Then uh, in Philly, I think, with you guys. Oh, yeah. Mm, right? That's, that'll be but that's, that's 22nd and 22nd. That's all sold out, bro. That's all out, dude. That's right. been sold that's out. out. Right. Bro, you put, you put us in place. Philly, sold out. <laughs> <laughs> this is well, hey, maybe come, come for the hang after. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Might have a little bar fiesta in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's company party. And yeah, then, that is uh, company party. I'm not sure Helium knows it's a company party yet. Uh, company party. <laughs> that's company party. That's a holiday That's going to be a nine-hour podcast. Yeah. Let's that just say is. that. If we don't leave the stage, that's strictly business, bro. Yeah. That is strictly business, man. <laughs> Fucking business. You're exactly right. And also, then, check out uh, Stuff Island. Oh, dude. yeah. Check out Stuff Island. Listen Come on, to man. Stuff Island. Chris New and Tom. episodes dropping every week. Yeah. I was listening to it, dude. I was out on the... Uh, out on the road, I was listening to it, dude. It's fun to it's listen all to. Right? It. It's very nice. I like yeah. it a lot. You and Tommy have a very fun dynamic. Oh my god, dude. Just who's calling each other? Just who it's like the battle for which like who's trying to be the piece of shit. <laughs> Tommy's he's dad in you big time. Yeah. You're bucking his reins and you're it's it's nice to see who gets left with like there's a lot of conflict. You're being you're like Tommy's like, you can't fucking cook. <laughs> yeah. So funny. So it's funny. Good. We'll see. We'll see what Tommy very comes funny. up with. Uh yeah, and then I'm in Phoenix for New Year's doing shows down there. And then you're gonna go to the festival? Yeah, I'm going to the Fiesta Bowl 100%. I got to get it down yeah. there. I got to cancel my show to get down to Arizona anyway. Yeah. Just, yeah it's got to be a short flight. Let's look it up right now. L.A. to Phoenix? Yeah, yeah. that'll be short. Well, yeah, about an hour and a half. But worst case, I can rent a car, dude, cross the fucking mountain ranges. That'd be, that'd be good to do with desert. the Omi, too. Get a dry that'd be good, climate. especially New Year's Day after I've definitely blacked out the night Ooh, before. Yes. Yeah. That'll be good. On champagne, that's always an easy hangover. <laughs> You might want to think about this drive, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, an hour and 20 died. minutes. Flight? Yeah. That's, you're not even going to get to cruising altitude. No, be up I'm going to check down. it. I got to see the Irish, dude. Yeah. Marcus Freeman, the new era. Oh, dude. We'll talk Marcus Freeman on the page. True, dude. let's the get on The page is going to be mostly dedicated to college football. Yes, please. And what was the other thing we were going to talk about on the page? Kenny G? Kenny yeah. G, yeah. All right. Goodbye. Farewell.